smoothie slider. There we go. Slide the drinks, blah, 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 you guys can read. Now, I want to match them up with the correct color that's over at the left side. The better I do that... Ugh, the better I do that, the more money I will get. Now, some colors, as you can see, don't fit. Like, the dark blue ones don't fit with, like, the cyan ones, but the cyan, cyan ones will fit the blue ones. Something like that. It's hard to explain. I... Because I'm trying to concentrate, mostly. I can't remember what the red ones go to. Uh, nope, okay, red ones do not go to the light blue ones. Did I get it? Yes, I got it, okay. This is probably one of my least favorite of the minigames. There are a few that I, I do not like at all. I can play this one if I need to for a mission, or if I need to for money, but... If I'm just like, I'm bored- Oh god, that was too hard! If I want to for um, just fun or whatever, I will not play this game. More Madness? Yeah, More Madness is fun. I don't know why it's fun, but it is. I'm trying to think of the one that I actually like the most. There is a Guitar Hero minigame, which is actually pretty fun. And I think it actually came out before Guitar Hero. It's just a rhythm game where you play with the guitar. I can't remember when Guitar Hero came out, but it was it was a while ago. So I'm not doing too bad, I've already got 126 simoleons for level 1. That's not bad at all. I think my favorite minigame is the fishing one, which is going to be wild before we get there. Maybe a couple episodes, not necessarily like, oh god, it's too hard, darn it, I keep doing that. Well, but I've only got one shake left to mess up on. And I didn't want to get it there, oh well. You guys didn't want your root beers, they were right in front of you, or are you just too lazy to pick them up? There we go, promoted to bar bag. And goal complete. So we need to talk to Mr. Dusty Hog, wherever he is. It is 10 p.m., so who knows. Uh, Dusty, you out here? There you are, buddy. So how'd I do? Not bad, not bad. You could use a little practice, but you didn't get anything thrown at you, so that's a start. Pretty soon, I'll be a biker like you. Ha ha ha! You need wheels first, buddy. You can't just be running down the road. It, it just isn't done. Well, maybe I can buy one. How much was yours? Hmm. Man, you'd have to work forever to get a hog lock nine. It's a custom job. But I'll tell you what. You help me out, and I'll give you my old train scooter. You rode a scooter? Ha, man, you gotta walk before you crawl. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Besides, those little machines get a bad rap. They have a lot of zip, and they handle like a dream. Uh-huh, I see. Anyways... See all those clans lying about? Bring five of them to the Virtue Cham lab, keep serving drinks at the Bird and Spoke, and, um, repaint my bike. Repaint your bike? Hmm. Yeah, man, I need to make sure you can handle the upkeep of this fine piece of machinery. Now hop, the, hop to it. I don't have all day here. Right then, so let's just repaint his bike. <laughs> um, Virtue Chem is like a recycling plant. It's another way to make money. Like when we pick up the cans and the little things I've been picking up as we play. There isn't anything back here. I uh, got that one. I need to find five aluminum cans, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so we need to figure out how many cans we have. There we are. We have three cans. We just need two more cans and we can make it to the Virtue Gems. Virtue Gems is only open at night time, so I should probably just head there now. Along the way, hopefully we'll find two more cans. And as we get into Virtue Shams, you're going to find out that there is more awesome music in this game, because it's one of my favorite tracks. That's... A, what? What? What was I going to say? I don't even remember. Yeah, you'll find out that it's the, uh... It has the best music in the game. The Herbs is pretty close to this, but for the most part, the Herbs, or the Sins Post Denote, has the better soundtrack. Or maybe it's just my nostalgia, because this is the first one I got of the two. Who knows? Uh, no, we're not going to find any. No! We're already here. I could go into the park. The park usually has a bunch of litter that people just throw out there. Well, let's try it. See if there's anybody. Just do any cans out here. Nope. Nope. Nothing there. Uh, anything? Anything at all? 
No. Come on, guys. You're not littering for once. Oh, there's one. I need one more. Oh, D Dusty, what are you doing over here? You were just... Oh, a nuclear fuel rod. That's worth a lot of money. Uh-huh. Yeah, Dusty, I see. Um... Well, shoot. We can probably run... There's usually one right in front of the library. Like, somebody comes out of the library and they just sit down there drink or something. Uh, is it here now? It is! Hey! Hopefully I can get back before it closes. I think it closes at 2am. Are we gonna make it? I don't know that we're gonna make it. Ah, uh, crap. Oh, wait, they're still open. Awesome. Okay. And there's a bunch of people here I haven't met, but... I know who they are, who they all are, but oh well. This thing, I've never really figured out what it do does. I think it just does something good or bad. It uh, either increases one of your needs or decreases them. I think it's random, but who knows? I'm not very smart. Um, nuclear fuel rods will pay me 150 or 45. For that, and 12 for the glass jar, and for the aluminum cans, or aluminium cans, there we go. And mission complete, we can talk to the Dusty Hogster, who I wonder if he's still in here. We'll, like, we'll go see. Sometimes at night people tend to disappear. There he is. Hey buddy. That's everything. Yeah man, maybe you do have potential. Your scooter will be waiting out in front of your place. What did you need all those cans for anyways? Maybe we could race sometime. Ha! Ah, you got spunk, kid. If I find the time, I'll let you know. Alright, so, we'll get back to Uncle Hayseeds, and you'll find the best part of this game. Because it's going to take us a while now to ru Are my pants purple? I thought I picked blue pants. Guys, I picked blue pants, right? Why are these pants purple? I might need to go into Uncle Hazy's house, find his dresser, and change my pants, because those are not very nice pants. And... Boom! There it is, guys! But I'm not going to leave it red, because that's stupid. I like the blue scooter. There we go. I'm going to change my pants real quick, and then we'll test out the scooter. No, not that. Oh, no, I didn't want to change my shirt. Actually, that's fine. There we go. Blue pants. That looks a lot better, guys. All right. So we're going to go ahead and test out the scooter. It basically controls exactly like the mower, but it's a lot faster, and it gets us around town much quicker. I love this thing so much. Alright, but now, let's go to bed. We've got a decent amount of money. In the morning, I want to go to uh, Cheatham and Hounds, which is the bigger store, to see if they have a burglar, burglar alarm. Because we're not going to be in the barn much longer. We're going to get our first real, quote-unquote, real house. And after we do that, we can get robbed. Because right now, everything, everything we have is perfectly safe. No one can buy burglar or anything. Right now, Uncle AC is going to tell us he wants us to move out of the barn and move into somewhere else. That's why I'm getting ready. Because we need to get that burglar alarm. Um, but anyways, yeah. Once we move into our first real house, burglars can break in and take whatever they want. Be it the toilet, be it anything that's actually worth stealing, or just a trash can. Which, I might get a rubbish bin or whatever. And they could steal that. It's not used for anything. In fact, I can't throw anything in it. It's just kind of for show, but still, they can steal it. But, if I get a burglar alarm, they cannot steal anything, and everything will just be hunky-dory. But, let's check out this store real quick. And they don't have anything at all. Actually, I need to give these to Detective Dan, don't I? They, the next time, yeah, if you don't do it fast enough, they won't give you any money. If you do it right away, they'll give you a decent amount of money. But anyways, let's move on down. Actually, I'm going to show you what I was talking about earlier. About why it was stupid for um, the, 
for Uncle Hasey to want to clear out the bikes to get to where he wanted to go. Because down this way, it's just this long road that leads to basically nothing. But, actually, I'm going the wrong way. I'm going the right way, but I want to show you what I mean. This is just a dead end here. It doesn't do anything. You have to go down the steps, which leads to the docks down here. Arr, ah, arr, ah, there we go. And it's just a really pain, big pain in the neck. Ugh. It is the scooter is a little bit hard to control, but it's still a lot faster than running. All right, here's Cheetah and House. And they have a burglar alarm, but I have no money. Crap. I need to hurry up. We need to hurry up, guys. Because that's going to be gone here a little bit, and I need to get that burglar alarm. So, what we need to do is we need to do some mowing. We're going to get a lot more mowing, or a lot more money for mowing this time. And I'm hoping that if we did get it done fast enough, that that burglar alarm will still be there. And we can buy it. So hurry up, dude. Get off your bike, and let's do some mowing. Okay, we've got plenty of money now. But my big worry is, is when we get down there, it's going to be past 5 o'clock, and it'll be auction time. Now, I should have enough money to beat anybody in the auction but three characters. Maximilian Moore, the local doctor. Lottie Cash, the local spoiled whatever. And Daddy Big Bucks, the local bureaucrat. All of them are incredibly rich and will try to outbid me. Now, I don't think they'll go as far as 930 or 73 simoleons, but there's a good chance. So I want the burglar alarm and Daddy freaking Big Bucks is in there. Damn it. See? See what I mean? He's going to keep going up trying to beat me. No, you don't, you freaking fat man. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Oh, you see what I mean? How much he went up? Oh my god, he could have got me. Alright. So, we have our burglar alarm. Now we don't have to worry about uh, robbers coming in and just taking all of our useless crap like our bins and things like that. So, that is good. Because I was actually <laughs> really worried that we weren't going to get that. <laughs> Alright, so now we can head back to Uncle Hayseed. See what the heck he wants. We have no money. That means no money for food or anything like that. I don't even think we can use Uncle Hayseed's oven or stove, range, whatever you call it, for free not anymore. For free anymore, I think we have to actually have money. Might have to do some more bartending, which I really don't want to do, but Uncle Hayseed, you home. Where the heck is he? He sometimes goes to the, lo the local, um... It's like a country-style restaurant thing with, like, mechanical bowls and things. He sometimes goes there, which, yeah, I guess if he likes that sort of thing, it's, that's fine. It's not my thing. But it's just annoying when I can't find him when I want to do, do whatever his mission is. But anyways, let's go ahead and just do this again. And it's not open yet. Of course it's not. So... Do a little nappy poo until 8 o'clock. I have to shower, but I don't know if it's, it'll let me not use this or not. Yeah, I do. All right, there we go. So we're going to do it again. We're going to get a lot more money for him this time, hopefully. Yeah, I got 20 simoleons for that. Oh, I missed. Uh, what did I do with that? That was right there. Duh, idiot. I'm calling myself an idiot. Not you guys. Not the bikers, because if I call a biker an idiot, I don't think I'd be around much longer to play the game. I didn't want to give it to you anyways. Don't be doing that, guys. Ugh, bikers. I mean, you're all you're all lovely chaps. Nothing against you guys whatsoever. Uh, uh, drink your freaking drinks. It was right there in front of you. See, that was farther away than the last time, idiots. I was looking at the wrong one. Never mind. Alright, yeah, thank you for eating that. 
And... Go! Drink it, drink it, drink it, drink it! Thank you. So we're making quite a bit more money now. Not what I wanted to do, but whatever. It was supposed to go to the other guy's coaster! Why do they even have their coasters so spread out? Why don't they have them in, like, you know, uniform? And not, like, three feet in front of them? Whatever. I guess if they want to be unique and not have their coasters be... All perfectly lined up like normal people. That is their choice. Uh, take it! Okay, I was gonna say, if you didn't take that, I was gonna be really mad. And that was my fault. Sorry. No, I think the red will go on the dark blue one. Or the light blue ones work too. Awesome. That was an easy one. That's another easy one. And this one's a little bit harder, but I should be able to just miss it, of course. And got it. Right on. Awesome. And I can never remember what the red go on. Okay, the light blue. Alright, so we got a little bit of money. Maybe Uncle Hasey will be home. Who the heck knows? It's We don't have enough money for, like, anything, except for maybe some food, which is basically what I want it for, or else our order this would be miserable. Is he home yet? There he is. And I, I reek, so I need to take a shower. Of course I do. So we'll take a shower. He's going to tell us, basically, that we need to get the hell out of his barn even though he urged us to live in there in the first place, but whatever. Uncle Hayseed. Uncle Hayseed. Oh, okay, maybe we should go to sleep as well, until he wakes up. That's fine. And how long is he gonna sleep? Until the morning? Please wake up sooner. You're a farmer, you should wake up, like, around 4 o'clock. No? No? Come on. Uncle Hayseed. Come on, buddy. Wake up. I have to sleep too? Great. Wait, did he... Is he awake? He's awake! Awesome! Okay, let's talk to him. Okay, I've taken care of everything. Bless you, Trotten. I wouldn't have had the... I wouldn't have... I would have had a word with those backers myself, but, uh... I had to spread some, uh, manure. You understand. I understand. Well, Trotten, I hope you don't take this the wrong way, but you're too talented to stick around here for long. Why don't you spend some more time in town, make some friends, and look for another place to live? If you pay me this for this month's rent, we can call a done deal. But I like living in the barn. I really don't. It's really nasty. Sounds good. Don't fret, Trident. I see fine things in your future. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some pondering to do. So what do I need to do? Take care of all the things in town, then speak with Giuseppe. He'll help you move your things... He tends to skulk around the bird and smoke when he's not working by the dogs. Okay, well, we need, I think we need a lot more money to pay for our rent, but we need to get help from Giuseppe Mezzo Alto, I've never been able to pronounce his last name, and give $500 to Uncle Hayseed. The other two we've already got done. I'm just going to go ahead and put the uh, burglar in the house here. Because I worry about me screwing up and accidentally selling it. So I'm just going to place it right over here. And then it'll be in our box when Giuseppe finally moves us. I guess what I should probably do is place some more mower madness. Just get a little bit more money. But I think for right now, I'm going to leave it here. If you guys have enjoyed this series of episodes, I'm probably going to break this into two different parts. Consider leaving a like. If you'd like to see more, let me know. And consider subscribing. Until then, I can't wait to see you again next time. Trident Zero, out.